learning a lot of things in my life. You guys want to live life to the fullest? Get married. Brings out the best in you. I learned a lot of things before I got married. My first, my marriage, I learned, very anxious person. Could not wait to do things. I look at my educational background. When I was in high school, I couldn't wait to go to college. In college, I couldn't wait to graduate, start my life, and get married. Then I got married, then I couldn't wait to die. <laughs> it's the hardest thing I ever did in my life. It's harder than math. And I'm Asian. There's no cal calculator to help me with your problems. Sometimes I'll walk away because I don't want to do something crazy out of anger, you know? I'll walk away, but she would say the best thing to always get me. Yeah, do what you do best. Walk away from your problems. <laughs> yeah, at least you know you're the problem. <laughs> What'd you say to me? Oh, nothing. And that's when I put on the panties. You give up. I like to call them manties. Man, like, yeah, protect me from feelings. Because it's the feelings that gets you all confused. Too much feelings for men. That's why I believe women are made perfect for war. Yeah, send him off to war, the enemy would not know what is going on. He's like, what's going on? We don't know. All we know is they're not talking to us right now. <laughs> my dad was drafted in the Vietnam War and asked my dad, Dad, why did we fight the war with men? We should have fought them with women on PMS. Yeah, send them off to a women's retreat, let their cycles sync up. No, that's teamwork. <laughs> Don't feed them for a week. They'll chew your head off. <laughs> Throw them into the jungle. The Vietnamese would have been shocked. They were like, what the? What are we gonna do? Don't know. Say sorry. <laughs> And say it like you mean it. <laughs> And don't look in the eye. Throw the chocolate. <laughs> Good. Now they cry. How you guys doing, man? You guys doing a good time? Oh, man. Great, great crowd. I like this. I like this. Robots are taking over the world. I went to uh, Safeway, a local grocery store in my area, and there was a huge line. Then I thought, like, you know what? I'm going to try the self-checkout. You ever use this thing? I went there, got all my stuff, scanned it, got out really quick. I was like, you know what? I'm going to always use this. Next time I went there, I had produce. Yeah, the thing's telling me, enter item code. I'm entering the item code, I'm thinking, wait, now I work here? I don't even have an apron. When's my break? Because my feet is killing me. How is this faster? Trying to get more exercise in my life, you know? Then I came, went out of Safeway, I had all my stuff, six bags, six grocery bags. In San Francisco, kind of crazy. Like, there was like six cops, Six cops, squad cars, a bunch of cops. Apparently they were looking for somebody. Then I thought to myself, what if I just drop all my stuff and run? <laughs> right? They're probably chase. You tell them the truth, I didn't do anything. Then why were you running? I need to get my steps in. <laughs> I'm getting to the age where I want a baby. Because I want to board the plane first. I'll get a baby. My brother says, you shouldn't get a baby so soon. You know, you have trouble sleeping. I travel a lot and I have trouble sleeping. So the doctor gave me some uh, medication. It's called uh, Ambien. My friend, my chick friend says, you shouldn't take that shot. It could be habit for me. You should do what I do. I was like, what do you do? I was like, I sleep naked. I was like, cool, where do you sleep? <laughs> But she said, you don't get it. You fall asleep naked, you fall. You, It's like that, like sleep like a baby. I was like, I don't want to do that. Because what if I'm sleeping naked and a fire breaks loose? I have to run into the arms of firemen. He's cradling me. I look up as like, are you Mr. October? Did get a dog. Because my brother says you should get a dog. It's like a starter kit. And I was like, are you crazy? Then I walked my dog to the dog park and then I saw this guy walking his kid with a leash. <laughs> then I was like, this is true. <laughs> this guy is in transition. <laughs> Name my dog Peter. Because I love them like a son. 
<laughs> this little girl came up to me and says, what's the name of your dog, sir? I said, Peter. <laughs> That's a weird name for a dog. <laughs> you should have named him Popcorn. <laughs> I was like, oh, I could change his name. He's a dog, he won't know. <laughs> then I thought, that's a horrible name, because what if I lost my dog in the middle of the night? Popcorn! Popcorn! You got people in the houses behind the blinds, there's a guy out there yelling out for popcorn. I think he's on drugs. He's possibly doing the hey hey. Oh my gosh, now why is he naked? I miss Hawaii. I followed my dreams. I, I used to be a lifeguard on the best, beautiful beaches in the world. Pipeline Beach. And one day on the sunset, I was like, you know what? There must be better things out there. And I left, I moved, followed my dreams, and I learned I was wrong. <laughs> Hawaii is too beautiful. It ruined my life. Yeah. It's too beautiful. All I think about is Hawaii all the time. Hawaii, you can't be upset. You get to wear shorts every day. <laughs> every day. Man. Hawaii. Hawaiian Airlines is probably the best airlines because they still serve food. You can't, you can't not serve food for a Polynesian person. They would go crazy. I was like, what do you mean no more food? I'm hungry right now. You know, my blood sugar is low. Yes, sir, please sit down and put on your shirt. And where's your footwear? Okay, you can laugh, there's no Polynesians tonight. It's good. Travel around as a kid. My dad was in the Air Force. Uh, we finally got, got to stay in Hawaii for a while. But before that, as a kid, you visit a lot of homes. You guys ever go visit a home and you come across that one house that smelled kind of stink, kind of fishy? The host gives you a glass of water, you get the glass of water, you sniff, smell the cup. smell. You touch some weird mysterious liquid in the kitchen. It was kind of damp and tacky. It's like, what did I just touch? You have to find out what it is. You have to do one of these. Why am I crying? Remember this house? I remember this house because I lived in this house. The main ingredient to Thai food is fish sauce. You don't know what fish sauce smells like? Take your two fingers, dig your butt. I'm sorry, I'm not trying to gross you out. I'm telling you the truth. I did the research. It smelled exactly the same. Go to a Vietnamese noodle shop, get the fish sauce. He's like, he was right. That was his house. <laughs> Nobody wanted to sleep over my house. I would lie to my friends who would walk home from school. We could smell my house from the bottom of the street. Mom cooking her food. I would walk home and it's like, hey guys, I forgot where I live. <laughs> Mom coming out of the house. Shani, why your friend don't want to come over? Because it smells like a butt. Hey guys, let's go to the swings. <laughs> Birthdays sucked at my house because Thai people don't bake cakes. They make like banana tapioca pudding. I will cry every birthday because mom put candles in the pudding. Happy birthday. Good. Why you cry or a tan? Nobody's here. I don't care, blow the candle. Make a wish. I wish I was white. <laughs> You're not gonna come true because you say out loud. <laughs> <laughs>